the forest at night is absolutely filled with seabirds that come into their burrows, uh, which are, the, are their nests uh, underneath the ground. Uh, one of the majority um, of these seabirds is the, uh, the white-faced storm petrel. Now, they're small, one of the smallest uh, petrels, one of the smallest seabirds, um, and they inhabit the island in their thousands. So there are many of them around me at the moment in the forest, and um, I just want to show you what happens when you turn your uh, torch on. We have to use red or infrared lights to get through the forest, otherwise these guys just go nuts. So let's have a look at this. So here, here we go. There's a little guy here. Oh, oh. Yeah, really, do have to watch your face. Oh, let, let him go. Oh, are you going to come back to me? Okay, off you go. Yeah. This is what happens when you turn your torch on at night here in the forest in Rangapita. Mm. You just get slammed by storm petrels. Um, they just come from every direction. Uh, they get, I think they, they get a little, sorry, I'll just turn this off. Um, I think they get a little disorientated um, by the torchlight. And um, they either think that it is the sun or the, or the moon, I'm not too sure. Um, but they definitely get disorientated by it and they um, fly towards it. And um, sometimes you also, sometimes they don't just fly towards you, but they'll climb a tree next to you and start heading up to the canopy. Um, like they do in the morning, so maybe just a response to light. But they're the only seabird that does that. The prions uh, actually shy away from the light. The TT, uh, they also will run away um, if they see the light, and um, as do the Weta and the beetles and um, pretty much everything else.